Hey guys, um, I have been feeling like crap the past few days, so I don't really have anything. Um, I mean, I have a few things that I want to film, but I'm just not like in the mood for sitting down and doing a more formal video. So I just thought I would, might do like a reading, like what I'm currently reading, weekend reading vlog. Um, <clears throat> so I'm currently in the middle of two things. Dr. Mooter's Marvels by Kristen O'Keefe. Aptowitz, and this is a nonfiction book about Dr. Muder. He was a pioneer in medicine. Um, he studied and taught in Pennsylvania, and he um, pioneered different types of surgeries, speci specifically like plastic surgery. And he really tried to do a lot for his patients and tried to help people who were, at the time, deemed as monsters. Um, he sort of tried to, to help them as best he could with his medical knowledge and uh, it's really interesting um, if you like sort of nonfiction that reads kind of like fiction then that this is what that is and you might enjoy it and then I'm also in the middle of fun home a family tragic comic and also my battery's about to die so I guess I'll talk to you guys in a little bit <laughs> So the last time I spoke to you guys was last Friday, uh, or yesterday, Friday evening. It is now a long time after that. It is it is now Saturday evening. Um, it's like 7 o'clock or something like that. Um, got up this morning and we went to go see Avengers Infinity War. It was very good. Um, I managed to get through... I managed to get to, get to it without really seeing any spoilers or anything like that for which I am very grateful um, and then afterwards we went to the bookstore because the the movie theater that we go to is in a mall and right below it is a book is a Barnes and Noble and so I couldn't really be there and not at least visit so um, I really didn't intend to get anything I actually almost left without anything but then I realized that I was in the mood to read really cozy mysteries and just really cozy books and and um just read books that have very beautiful writing um that's just what's that uh, what i was in the mood to get and and to read and so i ended up getting like five books um so the first two the first is by the book by julia sunborn I've seen this one around and it just looks like a really, um, it just seems like a really cute contemporary read. It's about this woman who is an English professor and she wants to get tenure um, and just the steps that she has to go to get tenure, the things that she feels she has to do and there is a little bit of a romance involved which I'm not against so that one sounds like it's like a book about books because she seems to be a really bookish person. She's obviously an English um professor so it's kind of it just feels like it'll be a cozy book about books um and then i got <clears throat> 100 years of solitude solitude by Gabriel garcia marquez it's a beautiful cover uh i've wanted this for a really long time i read love in the time of cholera about two years ago now and i loved it but i also had a lot of i i, I was, it was a love-hate relationship that i have with that book but ultimately i love um, I guess his writing, I think the emotions that he's able to evoke through his writing are are just beautiful and so I, I do want to read the rest of his work. Obviously he's a renowned Latinx author. So this is about the, the history of a mythical town that he created called Macondo and it's told through the Wendia family and I think ultimately it's just a book that really explores colonialism and the effect that it has on a, a city, a town, and its people, a community. And it's, I think this is the one, is this the one for which he won the Nobel Peace Prize, Amon? Which one? Um, 100 Years of Solitude. Yes, this is the one he won the Nobel Prize in Literature for. So, definitely want to read that. And then I got three cozy mysteries. 
I got one which is the first book in the Black Cat Bookshop Mystery. I mean, if you know anything about me, you know that I have a black cat and that I want to be a bookshop owner. So when I saw that, um, I definitely knew I had to get it. Um, then it's about this girl named Darla or this woman named Darla who moved to the United the to the to New York because she inherits a bookstore, and it, the bookstore has a cute ass black cat that she also inherits. And there is a author event, and the author dies in her bookshop and then of course she solves the murder because that is what all of these books essentially do right um and then i got book one and two in the a bibliophile mystery series i have read and had the first one but i don't know i think i gave it away or got lost in the move or something like that but i don't think i have it anymore so i got it so i would reread it and refresh my memory um it, the first is called homicide and hardcover and it's by kate carlisle and these are again bookish these two bookish books um these are bookish mysteries the she is a a book um a book uh, res restoration expert and they're bookish mysteries and then this is a bookish book and that wasn't what I was in the mood for. Books about books, really cozy books. Um, and so I'll probably get to these pretty soon. I usually, when I get books, I'll wait a little bit to read them because I like to read the books that I've had in my shelves for a long time. But this is really what I'm in the mood for. So I will probably pick these up sooner rather than later. I have also been getting on along a little bit more in the graphic novel that I was reading which I'll go get right now. I've also been making my way more through Fun Home of Family Tragic Comic by Alison Bechtel. Um, I am a 97 pages into this and this is about her relationship with her father, how fraught it was, how influential it was in her life and in, and in forming who she is as a person as, and as an adult. And it's heartbreaking and very interesting to read and it has beautiful writing. If you are a lover of literature, there are a lot of, of references to other books like how she sort of makes the connection between them, the author of those books and her father's life and how they influenced him as a person. And it's just very, it is very interesting, very intriguing. It is hard to read because her father was not a good person um, I would say content warning for pedophilia I'm very I'm enjoying this that, that feels like a weird thing to say given how serious of a of a graphic novel it is but I, I am I'm enjoying this I would also say that it does have some adult images so if you are if that makes you uncomfortable or if you are a young reader maybe wait a little bit to pick that up and i have about three hours left in the audiobook for dr mooder's marvels and then after that i want to pick up so that i have two audiobooks out or one I have one audiobook out and one that I got on Audible as well. <clears throat> um, after I finish Dr. Mooder's Marbles, I'm going to start The Good People by Hannah Kent. I have the audiobook for this one um, already out. And then I, on Audible, I have the audiobook for Flowers, Killers of the Flower Moon by David Gran, which is this one. It's a nonfiction. I got this through the Book of the Month. So I want to read this one this month as well. I didn't really do a May TBR this month because I was just feeling so crappy. I don't know if it's already the 5th of May. I don't know if I'll upload one. But I guess I can show you guys right here. I like to write them down in my little bullet journal. That's how I get a little creative. And so I have Dr. Mooder's Marvels, which I've already talked about. A fun home. Um, my Brilliant Friend, which you would have seen um, in my latest book haul, I'll link that up above. The Good People by Hannah Kent. Killers of the Flower Moon, which you just saw. I also have on Audible Rules of Civility. I have the physical version of that as well. 
I might do a body a buddy read of Orlando by Virginia Woolf and then I also want might read redefining realness which you would have seen in, in a recent in my last New York bookstores video I got that at the used bookstore then the prince and the dressmaker which was also in my latest book haul it's another graphic novel and i might get the i might pick up the first sherlock holmes just because i'm in that sort of mystery mood but if i don't then i might actually just pick up one of these three or i guess this one or this one since this is the second one but one of these two so yeah that those are my reading plans for the month of May. If I get through all of those, I may pick up a few more. But yeah, that's my plants are dying. Go water them. This little guy doesn't want to let me wake up. It's like 10 a.m. I haven't been up for a while, but he just likes to lay here on my lap and not let me move. The flyers were starting to wilt, and then they walked. They got some water, and they're back, back to life. Reminder to water your plants. Whenever he hears anybody outside, he's like, uh-uh, you best not think about coming in here, sir. I'm gonna sit right here and look at that door. No! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! My pants have strings, and he cannot leave them alone. So I use my journal basically only for bookish purposes. It started out differently, but um, I, I do use it mostly for bookish stuff. Let me know if you guys want me to do like a rundown of kind of how I organize my my books and my reading and my journal. Um, it's kind of all over the place, but it's it also allows me a little bit of creativity. So let me know if you guys wanna want me to go through some of my I guess spreads, um, and I'll I'll make a whole dedicated video to that.
Hey guys, so it's Sunday, 7.54, and I finished both Fun Home and Dr. Mooder's Marvels, which is over there, and I enjoyed both of them. Um, I'm gonna get write some notes on my thoughts, and I will go more into detail uh, and when I do a future wrap-up, which I think I should have enough. I think I should have enough to do another five-book wrap-up if uh not immediately then pretty soon i'm also feeling a lot better my sinuses are not as bad and i haven't been coughing as much which is great because the cough was really just killing me um but yeah i, I liked both of them and i i have like i said the good people and my brilliant friend on overdrive i think i have like 15 days left on each um, so I don't know, I kind of don't know which one I'm more in the mood for. I might do like a try a chapter type thing Well, I'll listen to the first chapter of both and see which one I'm more in the mood for and go for that one. Um, but yeah, it's been a pretty lazy day. <gasps> Fudge. It's 8 o'clock and I haven't cleaned the apartment. Scratch that, I gotta clean the apartment. Someone got a little catnip toy. Hey guys, so it's like 11 o'clock, I'm about to go to sleep. Um, apartment's cleaned, shower has been taken, book has been chosen. So, <clears throat> you, probably guys, you probably guys probably saw, I um, have chosen to read My Brilliant Friend by Alana Fer Ferrante. And yeah, I'm about 31 pages in and I'm liking it so far. So I'm excited to see where the story goes. Very interesting so far. Um, and yeah, I'm also still really kind of craving, uh, reading one of my little cozy mysteries that I got yesterday. So what I might do is just listen to the audiobook of my brilliant friend during the day. And then maybe at night when I get home, uh, if I'm going to read a little bit before work or something, read a few pages of one of those. And then, um, I have 15 days on this audiobook and the audiobook from The Good People by Hannah Kent. So hopefully I'll finish this one soon and I can get started on that one before my audiobook ends. So, or expires. So, yeah, this is my weekend. It was pretty chill. Um, I have a pretty busy week at work this week. I'm not really looking forward to it, but, um, yeah, hopefully everything goes okay. I have a few events that I have to be at. Um, and I always get really anxious when I have to do those by myself, so, but I'm sure they'll be fine. It's just, you know, all in my head. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this, this reading vlog, weekend vlog, slash book haul, slash a bunch of random things. Um, as always, thank you for watching and for listening. I love you guys.